man, love ain't hurt nobody. No. And anybody that has really took time to understand and understand and overstand love knows that you have to handle it with care. A wise man once said that no one can really truly love another person until they can be in love with that person's flaws as well. If you can fall in love with a person's flaws, then it is at that moment that you have experienced real love. See, we ain't talking about this love that's unpure. You know that conditional love, that what you can do for me love, or that you do this for me, I do this for you kind of love. You get what I'm saying? Um, or expecting people to love you only the way that you want them to love you. It's people out here that know people love them will probably end their life for them, but still treat them like shit because they're not doing what they want them to do. They know in their mind and in their heart that this other person speak another love language. And instead of trying to get in alignment with that, they use that to their advantage to throw pity parties, to throw fits, to criticize, to condemn, and so forth. Love is a pure thing, and at the end of the day, love is acceptance. The mission or the goal is never to change another person, especially just because you love them. The mission is to be yourself. And in the midst of being yourself, you find yourself in alignment with this energy. We always gonna have things about us that we don't agree with, even within ourselves, just as much as we all, as much as it be with other people. And they may not agree with everything that we got going on. Sometimes we don't even agree with our own parents or our kids. But that don't mean we're going to turn our back on them. That don't mean we're going to throw them out there to the wolves. And that don't mean we're going to criticize and condemn. Since we love them so much, we try to take time to understand them. And we should deal with any and everyone else the same way that we love. Whether we're talking about a mate, a friend, a family member, or whatever. So, you get to this point where you realize that people are basing love off of expectations versus appreciation and that's not a place that you want to be in you want to be in a genuine place with somebody because if you love me and you love my flaws you're going to be able to stand up for me when I fall short and I want everybody to understand what I'm saying I'm not saying to go deal with any and everything like don't be no gopher like don't go for anything because some people got the potential but don't got the credential. But some people got the potential. I mean, some people have the potential and got the credentials, but need a little boost. And whether it's male or female, whoever they partner is, that's where they come in at. Because each one teach one and two coming together shall always equal one when it's in abundance and when it's in alignment with one another and it's pure. So even then, you have to be like, <laughs> Hey man, that's just what my baby be doing, man. Hey, that's her thing. You know what I mean? When people don't understand, because you got to understand, you're not loving other people or places or things for that matter. For other people. You're not doing that for your friends. You're not doing that for your family. You're not doing that for Facebook or any other kind of validation. You're doing it because that's where your heart is. You're doing it because where you at and where your heart is feel like home. And you're doing it for you. Because you know how it make you feel. And anything that make you feel good to the point where there's no harm being involved and you're not losing yourself then that's a good place to be in because peace and happiness is right around the corner if it don't already exist so that's a beautiful thing to me we can't tell people how to love or what to love because you can't help who or what you love but just make sure it's pure so nobody is being manipulated or convinced or having to change for you if you're gonna change, change for the necessity of the relationship because it'll benefit you both. But don't never do anything that you don't wanna do just to prove that you love somebody because that's not love. You should always be yourself and always meet each other so y'all can become one. So accepting flaws is a beautiful thing if you can. Only when it comes to people that you know that's working on themselves. Only with people that you know will listen, who don't mind taking constructive criticism. People who are trying to get better within their spirituality. 
and people who are on the right track but just need a little encouragement, inspiration, and motivation. Not lazy people, not freeloaders, not narcissists, not people that make up excuses, and not people that manipulate. Know the difference and be in that vibration of what you truly desire because you deserve what you desire and you desire what you deserve and those are facts.